Hello, I'm Nachi Lazarus and today I have a very important message for a church or a ministry leader. So if you are a leader of a church or ministry, please pay attention to what I'm going to say in the next few minutes. If you are not a leader of a church or a ministry, please forward this to someone you might know. Okay. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. Now, you know very well that uh, people in this season right now are filled with fear, panic, worry, uh, stress, anxiety and all kinds of these emotions. And you know that uh, this is primarily because of the coronavirus outbreak, but that is not the only reason. Coronavirus outbreak is uh, a reason or uh, a, a route that is also uh, moving into other areas of life like economy and uh, business and work and uh, family and many other areas and uh, stock markets are having a free fall all around all around the world people are losing their wealth uh, you know there is anxiety about the future what is going to happen so there are many many issues I don't, you know them very well i don't want to talk about them right now right but you know very well what is filling the hearts of people with fear but that's not what i want to talk about i want to talk about what you can do as a church or a ministry leader in a time as this for a time as this God put you as a church leader and me as, as someone who helps churches and ministries, people like us, in a time as this, to counter these fears that are holding people back from becoming transforming agents who could change this. This whole thing is not going to get changed or transformed by fearful people. It's going to be changed by people who get out of the situation, look at this in a different light, be positive, move forward, take action and create a change, right? And those people need to get out of fear. And for those people to get out of fear, you as a church and ministry leader have something in your hand that is crucial, the word of God. You carry the word of God. You are the vessel of the word of God. God has given you words of hope, encouragement, life, healing and people need to hear that but you already know it but what i'm going to tell you is not not just that you have it in your hand but i'm going to tell you how to get that out to as many people as possible at this time and you know what i what i want to tell you is just one thing double down on your digital and social media efforts if there is one thing that you want to do in this season to reach more people with your message it is doubling your digital and social media ministry efforts because this one activity of expanding your digital uh, outreach can really help you reach as many people as possible. And this is kind of urgent. And I'll tell you why. I have three reasons why you need to double down on your digital ministry effort. First, people have more time. Okay. Travel is being cancelled. People are not traveling anymore. Right. Not as much as they used to at least. In most places, most companies are not making people travel. They're saying stay at home, work at home, like don't go anywhere. Conferences are being canceled. Travel plans are being canceled. Everybody stay where you are. Countries are closing doors. At the time of me recording this, two things have happened. WHO uh, on March 11th declared uh, coronavirus outbreak as a pandemic that is worldwide. Second, uh, United States closed its doors for travel from Europe. They said nobody can Europe can come from Europe can come for a, a certain number of days. India closed its door by saying we'll not give visas to people. Countries are starting to shut down, right? Which means people are what are what are people going to do? They're going to stay at home. And at home, what do you think they're going to do? This is what they're going to do. They are going to sit at home and keep looking at their mobile phones, consuming content, watching news, watching YouTube videos and filling their hearts with fear, more fear and more news, right? Well, it's good to watch news. I'm not against uh, information. I think information is important. People should know what's going on and they should watch news. I'm all for it. But that is not going to help them get out of their fear and worry. What will help them is the message they will hear from you and your church, right? So people have time. Let me come back to my point. My point is people are at home. They're not traveling for work or, or other things. They have more time. Already the recent research from Hootsuite, the global uh, digital report said people spend six plus hours on the internet every day. More than six hours. More than two and a half hours on social media every day. Now this number is going to significantly go up in the days to come. Okay. So people have more time. 
so if you can put your word out on the digital space more than you could you ever did then you have a chance of helping more people even if you are a ministry that has been doing this for a while double down your digital efforts if you're new double down your digital effort get going right that is uh, reason number one people have more time number two you have more time churches around the world are uh, in many countries they are being asked not to congregate right more more people congregating is not good for the situation so they are saying don't have church services which means you are free many churches are saying we are not going to have the regular service we are going to have live streaming just online uh, church that means so much of work comes down which means you have a little bit of time and even your travel ministries are getting cancelled i know many uh, church conferences that even i was supposed to speak in is cancelled right uh, so you have more time in your hand what are you going to do with your time in your hand because you not only have time like other people you also have a message inside of you that could help people so you have the time and you have the message i call the message of salvation as the greatest sanitizer in the world when people are going around buying hand sanitizers nothing can cleanse as the blood of jesus i know it sounds kind of you know funny but it is the truth right we have the greatest message in the world the hope message of hope message of eternal hope life love grace healing people in any situation can benefit from the message that we have so that's the reason number 2 you have the time and you have the message number 3 and the most important reason you don't have an excuse you have all the tools that you need but you're looking at me and saying nachi but i don't have all the tools i am at home i have nothing well this is all the tools that you need listen carefully to me this is all you need and this is already in your hands all you have to do is open your whatsapp here here look at i'll give you a simple way to do this okay open your youtube app everybody has a youtube app right go to your channel click on the camera button put your phone in front of you start recording okay and click upload boom your video is on youtube now take that youtube link send it to everybody on whatsapp send it to people on sms post it on your facebook page post it on your twitter account post it on instagram boom you have sent out a message effectively to people who might be able to consume this is the basic simplest way to do it of course there are other ways to do it there's so much you can do i can go on and on and on about what you can do on the digital space and why i am asking you to double down on the digital uh, world uh, digital effort that your ministry can do For example you can do more live streaming live stream every day if you're not able to travel anywhere and at home live stream for 10 minutes every day some message of hope some message of encouragement right you can do that right you can do more facebook groups meetings get your small groups into facebook and have facebook group meetings have more prayer time have virtual prayer right ask everybody to get on zoom send them zoom link and get everybody on or do a live stream where people can come and participate with you on prayer ask them to send prayer requests and do a 1 hour live streaming with with prayer. there are many many things you can do my friend i'm telling you this is an opportunity you have time they have time you've got the tools there's nothing that is missing to make this happen so that is why i'm telling you double down on your digital efforts right if there is anything you need to uh, you need in in terms of help you need something let me know this is uh, this is all that i do so i can give you resources i've got so much bl- uh, free blog posts and resources that i've already written that's on my blog about whatsapp about google my business how churches can use facebook instagram all that stuff go check it out take time to read you've got the time read about them right if you have any doubts let me know i'll answer your questions Number 2 I've got a book I've got a book on Amazon that's available on Amazon worldwide get a Kindle version don't even ship it if you're afraid of you know shipping something home so get a Kindle version all over the world it's available and read it if you if you can't buy it let me know i will send it to you for free i'm not trying to sell my books here okay but that book was literally written and it's read by people all over the world and i get messages thanking me for getting ministries and churches started on social media so get the book I have a course if you want more details tell me I'll send you the course I I'll, I'll get you on the course for almost nothing all right so there are many things we could do here and I'm very happy to help you in any way possible but just I wanted to take this few minutes here this morning to tell you we are put here by God with the eternal message of hope love life and really everything that people need at this time uh, is inside of us and we were put here in a time as this 
to tell people as much as we can. And we can do that using the digital and social media tools. So double down on your digital efforts. Do not give up. I will see you at the other end. Let us go out there and be a blessing to people. May God give you the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding on how to do that. God bless you. Stay connected. Stay blessed. Bye-bye.